All right, so I think after you've gone through the lecture, you are pretty much uh, aware of the fact that Reconstruction was a failure, that uh, it was it was too little, uh, you, you know, it, it didn't, we didn't give it the time it needed to try to fix several hundred years of slavery. But historians point to three successes that come out of Reconstruction that um, we can connect to the civil rights movement. And so we can use Jordan Anderson's letter, which I love, how can you not love this letter, to find those successes. And again, I'm using that, I mean, this. I'm really trying to find a silver lining here because, right, this is a failure. But, but three successes from this Reconstruction era that we're gonna be able to connect to civil rights later. And again, we can use Anderson's letter to, to see those successes. So um, as you're reading through the letter, one of the things he mentions is he talks about his son. Um, and he talks about um, his son uh, being told that he has, he has a head uh, for being a preacher, right? And that's one of the successes from this period is the strength of the black church right? Uh, uh, enslaved people could not freely practice their faith. And in fact, right, we looked at the ways in which uh, the Christian faith was uh, manipulated as a, as, a, as a tool to manipulate slaves. Jacobs told us, right, this. And we saw then enslaved people doing the opposite in uh, songs and in folk tales. And, and now, they can, and I say freely, loosely, because of the Klan and black codes and what have you, but in theory, they can now freely practice that faith. So the strength of the black church comes from this period, right? And some of those, the leaders that we're going to have in the 1950s will come from that church, like Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and then also in Jordan Anderson's letter, there's the emphasis on his family, Right? He talks about the safety of his children. He needs to make sure his children are safe. He talks about the respect that is accorded to his wife. She's called Mrs. She's given a title. Um, that comes from this period. The, the strength of the black family and of the black community, which is an extension, or I shouldn't say extension, also you know, connected to that strong black church. And, and we saw in the film clip, the ways in which those uh, families were trying to reconstruct themselves and trying to come back together by sending out, um, you know, messages and, and putting um, ads in the newspaper looking for lost family members. So again, the, sh the strength of the black church, the strength of the black community and the black family. And then two, um, Anderson wants to know if there's gonna be opportunity uh, for school, right? Education. And again, it's not the education that white children are receiving, but it's an education that was denied to enslaved peoples before. And so getting access to education um, is gonna be key, um, right? We'll have the creation of um, historically black, um, institutions that are founded at this time, like Howard um, and other colleges. And again, um, the instruction that uh, people of color are receiving like in local communities and in, in the um, Freedmen Bureau schools. Again, they're, they're gonna be in um, poor facilities and they're not gonna have access to equipment and materials, but it, it's better than the education that was nothing before. And so those are the, again, I'm using that word loosely, successes, because this is largely a failure, but those are the um, kind of the, again, maybe that silver lining that historians are looking for in this period. The strength of the black church, of the black family and of community and access to education. Um, those things come from reconstruction. Um, even though everything else is pretty much a failure. All right, take care.